Hey YouTube, I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, your own custom ringtones from any song and the um, application is completely free that you download. It's called WavePad Sound Editor. You can either go to Google and type that in or go to nchsoftware.com and download. They've also got a lot of video editing software, uh, video sound, picture, uh, they got video converting software, a lot of different things to check out on that website. I'll leave a link in the description for that and a direct link to the WavePad sound editor. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you how this works. After you install it, uh, you're going to open it up and you're going to go to File and you're going to look for whatever song you want to do, like if you've got LimeWire and you've downloaded a song, just look for that song or put in a CD and go to your CD drive and get the song, but uh, I'm going to go to a program, I'm going to go under my LimeWire, and look what I got in my, okay, let's go to documents, my music, I have nothing. Uh, okay, here, here we go, here's the song. Uh, it doesn't take very long at all to, like, see, look how quick that did, but, uh, I'll show you just a quick little thing. I'll make a ringtone from... Go ahead and make a ringtone. It's, let's say, this long. Okay, if this is, like, say this is what this is the part that you want you just highlight the part that you want however long you want it it tells you right down here uh... SEL length 28 seconds so that means you know you're gonna have a 20, 28 second ringtone okay just copy right click and copy on it then you're gonna exit out of that and click on new file I always keep my mono single and then right click and paste and here's your ringtone and you're gonna click file save as and I'm just gonna name it uh, script and you're gonna click on save as type you're gonna wanna click that as an mp3 type depending on the phone like uh, blackberries will play mp3s and WMA I think and possibly some other formats but razors will only play mp3 so you may as well just do it as a mp3 file when you click save it's going to ask you how many bit rate kilobytes per second now okay if you have this set as like say 96 kilobytes per second it's going to be like a whole lot bigger file it's okay like certain phones will only let you set a ringtone if it's under 300 kilobytes and in order to get like under 300 kilobytes you're gonna have to go with a lower kilobytes per second on the bit rate I always keep mine about 48 uh, kilobytes per second you know it's not a, it won't be like a really big file so you can have it as a ringtone it don't take up a lot of space on your phone uh, and it's really good quality like 48 is perfect if you get it down to 8 it it sounds like he's going in slow motion or something it's weird but keep it as 48 or that's what I would suggest you can kind of play around see what you like but okay I save that I didn't even say it let me resave that again to uh... my desktop because I have no idea where I just saved that at okay script is an mp3 okay now when you play that back now it's an mp3 format it's okay it says it's zero bytes what the crap okay it's playing but uh... you're not gonna be able to hear it through my mic probably but yeah that's how you do it uh... go ahead and try it out if it works for you let me know if it doesn't let me know and uh, I'm sure I could help you uh, walk you through how to do it exactly. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them and I'll get back to you. Uh, peace out.